Mamas, I want y'all to watch this video. And if you feel comfortable, please share it with your daughters and your sons. Because this is, this is such an important message. This is so important that we need to talk about this. We talk about assault and we talk about grape. But we don't really talk about coercion and what that looks like. And I know a lot of you have very similar stories to the one or maybe ones that I'm going to share, depending on how much time I have. I don't want to have y'all here. I've been told that I talk too fucking much. Um, but we need to talk about co coercion because assault and grape isn't all always someone coming from behind the bushes and and tackling you down to the ground or assaulting you in some way where you have scratches and all kind all assault is serious but do, I'll explain so many of us have had coercion happen to us but we didn't quite understand how it was so wrong and how it still qualifies as assault because it wasn't this physically violent act where we're getting punched and choked and 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 assaulted behind a dumpster or in the bushes we're not getting held at gunpoint things like that i dated this guy years ago and i was gonna spend the night at his house but we had had a long day and i told him i was tired and i just wanted to go to sleep um and we're laying in bed and I give him a kiss and I roll over to go to sleep and he goes hmm and I knew what that meant I knew what that meant but I was so I was so desperate for a relationship that I didn't want to fuck it up so I rolled over and and gave him exactly what he wanted that is coercion. It's creating an environment to where pressure is applied to where if you don't get sex, you're going to act out. And if you are lucky, the person will succumb to that and give you what you want. It can come in the form of them calling you a big baby. I thought you were a real woman. I thought you were mature. You have me all the way over at your house just to do this. You came all the way over here just to not do anything. We've been dating for so long and you're still going to not not do anything with me. Why would you dress like that if you didn't intend for anything to happen? Or if you if you are still school age, I'm going to tell everybody at school that you did it anyway, so you may as well do it. Or you know what? There's other there's other women that'll be with me if you don't want to. That's fine. How many women have a story where this is exactly how they, how their first experience having sex went? And maybe it wasn't their first time, but somewhere on down the road, something like that happened to them. Even in a marriage, this stuff can happen to women too. You've been cooking and cleaning and taking care of the kids all day. You worked all day. You're tired. You are. Your feet are aching. You probably have a headache. No one has looked after you. You finally get your head on that pillow ready to just melt away. And then you get a, a tap on your shoulder. A poke. If you know what I mean. And then if you say no... I pay, I pay the bills. I worked hard. You wonder why I don't take you anywhere. You wonder why I don't help with the kids. You wonder why I don't do anything. And then a whole argument starts. He might even say something hurtful like, you know what? I gave up a lot of women to be with you. There are a lot of women who would be lucky to have me. And, and please hold your jokes about, well, I would never let a man say that to me. Please shut the fuck up right now. This is not the time for you to come up in here acting as if you know everything, you're perfect, and that you've never made a mistake, and that you're somehow smarter and better than people who have been victimized in these situations. I will block you like it's my job to do so. Some women 
don't even get the, the, the discussion. Their husbands just roll them over and they take it. Or if they don't give it up, their husbands won't talk to them or will be rude to them. I once saw a video on this very app of a husband who was joking and the text on the screen was what happens when your wife doesn't be intimate with you the night before and it's him giving his wife a high five like she's one of his bros like she doesn't matter like he just doesn't care about her and there are people in the comment section that thought that shit was funny men have been told just about their whole lives you're a sexual being and unfortunately women have been taught it is your job to be there for him sexually it's your job to be visually fulfilling. It's your job to make his fantasies come true. And if you don't and he cheats on you, then it's your fault. You don't need sex to survive. You just don't. Male or female, non-binary, doesn't matter. You don't need that to survive. You just don't. And there are ways you can scratch that itch by yourself. If, if it gets that bad for you. If you say... No, that is end of discussion. And if how you feel about me, if how you treat me changes negatively after that, that's it. We're done. You're a dangerous person and I don't want to be anywhere near you. Married or not, just dating, just a couple, friends with benefits, it does not matter. If no is said, or if your body language says no, that's it. And I don't want to be around anybody that makes me feel bad for saying no.